So I decided to do another tutorial because one reason or another I like hearing myself talk over a microphone. Even though I don't have a good voice. Anyway, I've decided to do a little tutorial on how to make a simple pen line look like look like something a bit like this here. Something like this here, with the glowing lines and all. So what you do is, you go to File, New, and you want to go to International Paper with A4, click OK. And for this here, we are going, you don't need any images or anything for this, because this is going to be simply Photoshop. So we go into Image, we rotate it 90 degrees. And you go down, get your, your paint bucket, or to make it look more awesome and professional, you go into the gradient tool. Now make sure that the background color is, is a darkish gray, because that would actually make it look a whole lot nicer and cleaner. Well, I think anyway. So here we go. Next, we're going to add a new layer. Click OK. So now I go to Paintbrush. And for this here, we're going to need a 10 pixel brush and make the hardness 50%. And you'll see what we're going to do with this later. So now, you're going to go get the pen tool and make sure that the colors are different. Like for this, go for Scion, Pure Scion. Oh yeah, so can you pronounce that? So now what you're going to do is, is that you're going to draw a line like this. Make it look wavy. And you keep doing it three times. Well, for this tutorial, we're going to just going to do three lines. And we might add a wee bit more to it later. So now with that there, right click the stroke path make sure that this is selected and make sure the tool is brush click OK delete and there's your lines and now we're going to make them look a little bit more cooler we're going to go into layer style and insert outer glow so what we're going to do here is that we're going to change the opacity up to 100 and change from screen to lighten. Also, we're going to change the color to probably turquoise or pure scion again, but then again, I always like the light blue because I always thought it made it look more cool and clean. So, now what we're going to do here is that we're going to spread it a wee bit and bring the size up to, say, about. 122 or 7 122 and the spread to to 11 and then after that there you go into inner glow so now we're going to give it a wee bit of an edge go down to either blue or turquoise so that it would stand out more and do the same thing go to lighten the opacity up to 100 and we're just going you might not see anything at first I'm going to do it like this here and after that you click OK so now you've got a bit of a line so what we're going to do here is that we might add in some more lines so we're going to go right here I'm going to change the color of this line, of these lines, and this time we're going to make them into a different color. So we're going to make these a darker blue. Right click, stroke path, let's do the same thing over. So now you get this, you get these lines, but how do you add the effect to make it look more kind of science fiction-y or something, whatever you call it, I don't really know what it's called. 
we go into filter render lighting effects so you can pick whatever you want here but for this I'm going to pick spotlight in the defaults and we're gonna bring it here you can mess around with it to see how it would look. So we're going to add a wee bit of more lighting in there because that's a wee bit too dark. So we're going to go back into render, lighting effects. You can use any type of things. You can use spotlight, omi, directional. I sometimes find omi is a wee bit useful to, to use. So then you can do that. And there you go, that's how you make a cool holographic type line. And with the right techniques, you can edit them to make them look a little like... A little like this. When you apply the right techniques and all, get them all you can apply them to make something cool like this here and I know I'm not that dashing in real life <laughs> and there's my quick little tutorial on how to make holographic lines or energy lines or science fiction -y. I don't care what they call it but it's a very good effect you can use in science fiction or you can use it for magic or anything like that. And I hope this tutorial was useful and thank you very much for listening.